So like if the fishy can only be lined up together in the same direction, when you have someone who is stronger than them lining you up together, um, then how would you, you know, if, if that's the argument, what's the counter argument? What's the Christian counter argument? Because we do not claim that a community does not have everyone lined up and going the same direction together. We believe that's very much the case. Well, what is the pastor then the authoritarian whose job is to move everybody in the same direction? No. And this is the, this is a massive dis- difference. It's not a difference between capitalism and communism. I don't think it's definitely a difference between say fascism and Christianity. And that is that Christians believe that a leader is followed in the line because he goes first, because he goes ahead, because he does not look back to see if he's being followed. He's going to do it because it's right. And in this way, he's the counterpoint to Nietzsche's Ubermensch, who doesn't do it because it's right. He does it because he wants to. The good man does it because it's right, even when he doesn't want to. And that's why he's not a coward. He's brave, even though he's afraid. Yes? You with me on this? So, taking that, reclaiming that identity of the good man as the leader who goes ahead, for all of us to see that that's in Jesus first, who has gone ahead into death, and returned ahead from death on our behalf. That he now, yes, is an authoritarian figure with a mighty hand ruling all the world, and yet not for the sake of using an iron fist and bashing together clay pots so that they break. It's for the sake of saving you. You. Me. Us. A common union, a community, made in one line with him, a fashi. But more than that, not just a bunch of sticks tied up, Branches grafted into a vine, a living, a living tree in many directions and all directions at once and growing according to God's design in order to be what we're made to be. It's a different vision.